Hey folks, <laughs> all right. Welcome back to the channel. Eric the Old Jarhead here. Guess what? It quits snowing, mostly. So, we're gonna see if this battery will let me go one more log. We're gonna try. <laughs> you, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Now that the snow's quit, maybe, if I can keep this battery charged up long enough, maybe I can get one more log in. It's green, not red. We're good there. So we'll see. All right, I'm not gonna BS. I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna get the mill ready. And then we're gonna get this log rolled up. And I'm gonna see if I can't get it made into a D-log. So I'm gonna stop yakking and get milling. Let's get her done. Winter milling, sometimes you gotta clean the ice off the bunk, folks.
you know. It's been a while since I took the time to do this the right way. And I thought maybe today I would do that. For first time in a long time. You don't have to peel the whole log. What you gotta do is get it started. Plus you run into knots. <laughs> Bark down your shirt. Oh, it's been a long time since I peeled logs. <laughs> A long time, many years. A lot of the logs on there I peeled after they dried a bit and the bark just peeled right off, but it isn't really the best way to go. If you leave them in the spring, the bugs get in them. And this way, they won't. That means you gotta eat a lot of bark. Almost. <laughs> this is not production sawing. The last time I did this, you sat on the log. All right, I'm beat folks. <laughs> the last time I peeled a log, I had it on a small log deck that was about, oh, 18 inches off the ground and I sat on the log. So I was sitting about, you know, 24 to 30 inches off the ground. So it was kind of comfortable and I just used the draw knife down the logs and that's actually how I did the logs for the woodshed there as well as the entrance into the property here. But I was thinking about peeling logs and I really need to peel these logs. And I've actually answered some comments in my videos about the fact that I didn't peel these and uh, <laughs> setting all excuses aside because we know they all stink. I, I knew that I needed to come up with a better way to do it. And I thought, well, why not just clamp it on the mill and just leave it on the mill and just peel it right there on the mill, clean it up, get it off the mill and it's already done. So I think from now on, that's gonna be my approach to the logs. Now on this one, I don't know if you noticed, but what I did was I came off the, the path on this end with it elevated, lifted up three inches and said, okay, that's eight and a half. And I came up to, I don't know, 11 and a half, 10 and a half inches and away I went. And I started taking one inch flitch cuts down until I got to eight and a half. Then I flipped it up on the other side, took the cap cut and then worked it down until I was about two and a half or two inches away from the pith. I had it planned. Just can't remember right now after all that peeling. Flipped it again, worked it down to six inches and then took it off at seven and a half. Now, I take it off at seven and a half because that usually gives me a six inch face somewhere over here. So right there, I've got, I've got almost six there. 
we're actually at five, but once we get back here, we're at six again. Now it's gonna get a little big here. We're at six and three quarters. And as we come down, it's gonna be even bigger down here, folks, probably. So let's have a look. Well, down here we're six. So it goes from six to probably close to seven inches in here, and then it goes back to six over here. So it's just kind of a way of doing it that keeps it fairly uniform. No log is perfect. This one did move a little bit. That's okay, I'm gonna chink it, so it's fine. But it'll give me that six inch D log. I did box the heart. It's not perfectly centered, but you know, that is just the nature of the beast. Sometimes they don't, they don't work that way. So now I gotta get the tractor, bring it over here and see if I can't set that log <laughs> up here somewhere. Now, when we set this up, we set this log hanging out over that end so that in theory, I should be able to hang one out that end, but I'm gonna have to push this log actually down the deck a little bit so that I could butt it up here and then run that one out that way. So hopefully we can do that. We'll try to come in from over here with the tractor. So that might be a little hairy, but we're gonna try that. So we're gonna see if we can't get it on this side right here. We'll put some stickers in, lay that one out and that one will be set up on the wall. So let's get to it. All right, folks, there you have it. We got that D-log done. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. We've stacked and stickered it up on the deck. So that finishes off the three feet all the way around now. And I actually got that one peeled. <laughs> I just had to, had to get called out on it. That's what it was. Um, honestly, you know, I've been kind of lazy not peeling those and I knew I, I could run into trouble if I didn't. I was always trying to push it right to the end and see if I couldn't get one last thing done and you know that was the one thing i didn't do so we we're going to change that habit folks got a better system now where i just do it right here on the mill i think that worked out pretty good we got a bit of snow on it it kind of slipped and fell off the forks the forks were kind of icy and i tried to come in on the high side here and it's just too it's it's too much it's too rough and the log kept sliding off so tim and i had to push the log all the way back on get it back on far enough that i could bring it around this way and, and set it over here that worked a lot better i don't have my mic on so i hope you can hear me pretty good right now but uh got the mill mill uh, put away it's it's just too late we are 10 minutes after four that's the west folks actually west is that way and you know what the sun's gone down to the southwest so no more milling. I was hoping to maybe make a D-log out of that one. That'll have to be the next, well, I'd say video, but the next video when I'm milling, and who knows whether that'll be in two weeks from now or a month or tomorrow. We don't know. And do me a favor, folks. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hey, it's free. Hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it if you do that. Thank you very much for that. I'll drop another video right here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jarhead out.